choosing the type of visualization for the data. Quite often, text and numbers by themselves lack impact and do not express the story behind the data, or at least the story that you're trying to tell. They may also not convey the data well if there is a pattern or some other aspect of the data that you're trying to communicate. Numbers and text alone, in this case, just are not adequate. You need to choose graphics and visuals that match the data and look pleasing to the audience for maximum impact. Simple effective graphs use two axes to depict the data using x and y coordinates. Typically, at least one coordinate is a quantitative value. The data must map to two variables relating to your x and y coordinates. In this example, amount and time. The amount is on the y-axis and it is in degrees Fahrenheit. And the time across the x-axis is a particular day. Graphs are particularly powerful for conveying a trend or pattern in this type of data. For example, in this graph, we can infer that there is a warming trend occurring from day one to day six. Certain diagrams work particularly well with particular information or content types. For information comprised of changing data over a time progression, a timeline diagram is most effective. When the information comprises a guide or a plan to be completed, a template diagram based on the guide or plan is typically called for. When you have an ordered set of instructions to visualize, a flowchart is very effective and provides a clear, coherent, and structured order that the audience can follow. If the content type consists of tasks to be crossed off as they are completed, a checklist is a good candidate for visualizing the information. A mind map is a diagramic technique used to visually present the linking of ideas. A mind map is typically generated around a single topic with the main topic being central to the diagram. Major topics related to the main topic are connected directly to the main with subtopics and other concepts radiating outward. Mind maps can incorporate words, images, numbers, and color, and can present an overview of a central topic with large amounts of related information. So, in this video, you saw how to choose the type of visualization for the data.